Good morning, church. Welcome to this Friday morning edition of Good Morning God. Uh, Pre-recorded for you, so you don't miss a, a day online. And uh, so glad to have you with me. Let's, uh, let's start our time together with song. I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice to worship you. Oh, my soul, rejoice, take joy, my King, in what you hear. Let me be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. Sweet Holy Spirit, sweet Heavenly Dove, Stay right here with us, filling us with your love. And for these blessings, we lift our hearts in praise. Without a doubt, we'll know that we have been revived when we shall leave this place. Our scripture this morning is from the book of Acts, chapter 14, verses 19 through 28. Then some Jews came from Antioch and Iconium and won the crowd over. They stoned Paul and dragged him outside the city, thinking he was dead. But after the disciples had gathered round him, he got up and went back into the city. The next day, he and Barnabas left for Derba. They preached the gospel in that city and won a large number of disciples. Then they returned to Lystra, Iconium, and Antioch, strengthening the disciples and encouraging them to remain true to the faith. We must go through many hardships to enter the kingdom of God, they said. Paul and Barnabas appointed elders for them in each church and, with prayer and fasting, committed them to the Lord, in whom they had put their trust. After going through Pisidia, they came into Pamphylia, and when they had preached the word in Perga, they went down to Atalia. From Italia they sailed back to Antioch, where they had been committed to the grace of God for the work they had now completed. On arriving there, they gathered the church together and reported all that God had done through them and how he had opened a door of faith to the Gentiles, and they stayed there a long time with the disciples. So apart from the obvious um, Paul coming back from a stoning, um, you know, he's, he's not dead yet apparently. Um, this talks about the, the mission trip that they went on, that they were committed to that. That is, they were, they were sent, um, they were commissioned um, to do that. And they came back and they reported all the things that God had done through them. On occasion, you may be commissioned to do a work of service. To, to go on a mission, maybe to evangelize, maybe to invite people to church. And you should take that seriously. And you should perform that mission to the best of your abilities. And then you need to come back to the church, come back to your fellow believers and give testimony to what God has done through you because you were obedient to that mission. Let's pray. Good morning, God. We thank you for this day. We thank you for your word. Lord God, help us to be obedient to the things that you call us to do, regardless of the hardships that we will face for being disciples of Jesus Christ. Put in our spirit that desire to do your will and give us the strength and the power to do it. And we thank you for these things in Jesus' name. Amen. And now, beloved, go with God, and God will certainly go with you, and have a blessed day.